Hi. This is going to be a general reading for the sign of Libra. Hi, Libra. Whew. So it's been a week, huh? Yeah. I hope the Huntress Moon treated y'all well. It exhausted the shit out of me. So. <laughs> I'm keeping the camera up here. <clears throat> Because I don't have a bra on. And you know, while there's no shame in my game, I do not want to get a whole bunch of new male followers because my nipples are out. Okay? I mean, <laughs> maybe I do, but <laughs> no, I don't. No, I don't. I thought that was the booger. <laughs> it was my piercing. <laughs> oh my God, I can't with myself today. Okay, so we're going to be reading for Libra. It's October, so all month I'm doing my spooky tarot. Spooky tarot. Did I say spooky? I'm about to say scary. So I have this. This deck. The Beauty of Horror Guidebook. And let me adjust this. Okay. Okay. And then I also have my Light Seers Tarot and my Dragon Deck. Doop. All right, so we always start off first with the Scary Tarot, so that's what we're going to do. <laughs> so discombobulated right now. Do you see my spooky? Hold on one second. I paused my camera right at 202. Did you guys see my spooky little guy back there? He's like, he's a skeleton. My cat's back there too. All right. So we're reading now for Libra. Libra for October. What does Libra need to know for the month of October, please? Mm -mm. Let's hope your reading's better than last time, Libra. <laughs> I don't know. It's it's weird. Like with all the signs, it's like they're either really good or really bad. It's, uh, there's no in between. I don't know. This whole hunters and then's got everybody all the reading all well, screwed up and shit. Um, disclaimer: If you're under 18, please do not watch. I cuss a lot. I'm inappropriate. I'm not family friendly. There's that. All right. And I'm sorry, you guys. I'm in a really super duper chill mood today. So if you see. Me, you know, I'm just really relaxed. I promise you I'm not high. I don't do any drugs. I'm just really relaxed. So. All right. Angels, I think it's you guys. Ancestors, higher self, and star family. We're reading now for Libra for the month of October. This is a love life portion. What does Libra need to know about their love life for the month of October? Whoa. The fuck was that? Y'all have energy already cray. <laughs> oh, Libra. <clears throat> okay. Let's get to shuffling, Libra. What you got going on? Yeah, see, especially during this portion when I'm shuffling, my boobs just be ja jaggling. <laughs> like, I definitely won't, don't want to get a bunch of new male followers just because I'm braless. Like... That's not how I fucking roll. You gonna like me first, my brains. Oh lord. I already know I'm cute, so you know, you gotta like me for something else. Alright. Ooh, 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 Libra. You are saying goodbye to some shit already. I can see it. Oh my god. There it be. Nine. <clears throat> okay. <clears throat> Just trying to figure out what that was. <clears throat> oh, excuse me. <clears throat> Y'all have some throat chakra issues too. Is that nine? Eight? Yeah, nine. Nine of pentacles? Huh. Okay. So you're letting something go, but you're comfortable with it. It's good. It's, I mean, it's, 
I feel like at this point, it's not causing you any more heartbreak. You're just like, fuck it. <laughs> it did in the past, but you're, you're just ready. You're ready to let it go. You're not holding on anymore. Yep, there it is. Sitting in that Empress energy. Look at that. Fucking beautiful Libra. Oh my God. Look at all these cards. I want to come out. All right, let's get a couple more cards out. I already see your reading is going great. Oh, Lord, 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 Libra. You guys got it going on, don't you? Yep, there's two cards of letting go. We got eight of cups, five of cups. So y'all definitely let go. You let go of something in your relationship. You're no longer doing it. Ooh, when you got that wheel of fortune turning now. Ooh, what's coming up now next? Oh my God, Libra, I'm excited for you. <laughs> You're sitting in this, hold on, you're sitting in this beautiful divine empress energy and now you got the wheel of fortune turning because you let go of a past relationship. You let, I mean, you let go and you did it gracefully. Let me show you these cards in a minute. You did it so gracefully, Libra, just like the phoenix. It was just like, you should see the woman in this card. I mean, she's, hold on. She's a skeleton, but her arms are up like this. She's just basking in her freedom. She's just, she's surrounded by grapes. She, oh, she's drunk on her freedom. It is a beautiful energy coming off of that right now. It looks like she's just free. Like she did, when she just let go, it's almost like she's free falling. It's beautiful. Oh my God. And you got strength card, Leo energy. Oh my gracious. You are beautiful, aren't you? Look at you. Oof. You're, see, I told you, Libra, I knew you were stronger than you think. I kept telling you, get out of this third party shit. Like, this fucking relationship's not good for you. And you did it. And oh my God, look at what you're coming up next now. Oh, oh my God. We're going to get, <laughs> I'm going to stop right here and then I'm going to get the, the last card to sum up your reading. But for your, uh, <laughs> so I'm stunned to sum up your, um, this is a good one to sum up the energy of your love life. But right now, let's get into these damn cards, Libra. Okay, so we got this energy of letting go. We got the five of cups, right? But you did it with an enlightened state, okay? There is, you know, the light for me always represents enlightenment. So you did it with an enlightened state. So it's like you weighed all those options. You did it with logic, equal logic, equal heart. And you went into it with eyes wide open. You, you weighed the pros and cons and you said, you know, I've done this before. I keep beating this dead horse. It's time to let go. Okay. We have, excuse me. We have two cards of letting go. Okay. I'm going to get to the other one of letting go, but let me show you the cards that came up in between the, the eight of cups. Okay. So we got this one. And then we got the Eight of Cups, right? They came out. There's two cards that came out in between them. Let me show you. Let me get to those cards. All right. We have the Nine of Pentacles. And now this is what I was talking about. Do you see how she is letting go, right? But she's doing it with grace and with ease. Her arms are out. She's like, I, I've let go. I'm done. I surrender. And it's a beautiful, beautiful energy. See, this is what I was telling you, Libra. I feel it and it feels really good and you feel liberated and you feel free and it is beautiful. Ugh, okay. She's surrounded by abundance. She's got fruits around her. Um, she's giddy with the feeling of almost like a drunkenness. The, the, the graves are the giddiness, the happiness, the joy, um, almost like a feeling of being drunk. Like when you drink wine, all right. She has the crow on her shoulder and the crows represent um, solitude, but crows are solitary creatures and they like their solitude. Crows only socialize when they want to. They choose when to socialize and when to be alone. So that's very significant, Libra. It's like you said, forget it. I'm going to choose to be alone right now. And it's because that's what you wanted. Okay. Oh, I'm getting chills. It's beautiful. All right. And then you got the Empress card. So you're sitting here in this beautiful Empress energy. 
you know, the Empress represents everything that's beautiful about the Divine Feminine. And again, this is just the energy. It's not about um, gender. It's about the energy. Okay, so it's Divine Feminine energy. It's abundance. It's fertility. It's very goddess-like, um, seductive, sensual, Venus-type energy, right? Okay, which doesn't surprise me because... Whenever I seem to do Libra, you guys always get this very seductive, beautiful, sensual energy. I don't know one Libra that's that doesn't have a very Ven Venusian, I hope I'm saying that right, type, you know, the Venus type energy. Let's just say that. Very sensual and very sexual, okay? Now, um, after that card came out the Eight of Cups. So again, we got these two energies of letting go. But do you notice is this is also coming from an enlightened state of this is I'm making the right choice. See his crown chakra lit up. The, the cups are behind him. He's not looking back. It's not like he's walking away and he's looking back at the past. This is full blown moving on. Look, both of the cards, they're, move, they're completely walking away. There's no looking back. There's no regret. It is, this is my decision and it's the right one. And it came from an enlightened state of mind and I know what I'm doing. Beautiful. Libra. Next, we got the Wheel of Fortune. So when you made that decision, Libra, what happened was it started another shift and another cycle in your life. A new timeline, a new fucking timeline, Libra. Okay. And that timeline, see, here's the thing. You got the strength card, which is Leo energy. So it could be one of two things. It could be another, um, a Leo coming into your life, another fire sign, right? A fire, I mean, I don't know why I was thinking Libra's a fire sign. Libra's not a fire sign. Libra's, Libra's I can't talk. I'm so excited. Libra is air. But you could have a fire, another fire sign. Why do I keep saying another fire sign? Libra is not a fire. Libra is air. I keep thinking that you guys are fire sign and then fire signs coming in, but Libra is air, okay? I know that. What I'm meaning to say is you could have a fire sign coming in, okay? Or this is what it feels more like, honestly, okay? For some of you, it might be a fire sign. But it feels like, honestly, Libra, like when you made this decision to walk away from something in regards to your love life, you turned that wheel yourself. You said, fuck it, I'm not going to wait for fate to decide my fucking life. I'm going to turn that goddamn wheel myself. And you did. And when you did, you realized you were stronger than you fucking thought you were. And it's fucking amazing and beautiful. And you tamed your own goddamn beast, Libra. Yes, you did. And look at what's coming up next. You have the Ten of Cups, which is the happiest card in the deck. It's happily ever after in regards to your love life. Oh my God. I have chills. Oh, I got to take a deep breath. I just killed that water because, you know, <laughs> Libra, it's so beautiful. All right, let me just, let me just take a deep breath. Okay, so we're going to, we're going to wrap up the love section. Oh, um, I'm going to pull one more card for like the general energy. To wrap up the energy, let's wrap up Libra's love reading. Let's get the general energy in regards to Libra's love life. The, oh Lord, Libra. <laughs> A card just popped out. I'm not sure if I'm going to take it or not. I'm going to leave it there. And I'm going to, excuse me, a lot of releasing. I'm going to leave it there and pull another card and see if, hold on, I need to back up just a little bit. Oh, I feel like I'm smothering here too close to the table. All right, so I'm going to pull one more card. I have another card that popped out. It literally flew out and that doesn't happen often. So I think I'm going to keep the energy, but I just want to make sure that I have another card that correlates with it. To make sure it was for you. 
Let's get one more card to sum up Libra's reading, please. Spirit, what do we got? What do we got for Libra? Right here. Ooh. Okay. So, these are the last two cards. We got the Three of Swords, which represents some type of heartbreak. And we got the Devil card. Okay. So, here's what it feels like to me, Libra. You very quickly realized that whatever energy you were dealing with, this person that you were dealing with was not what you thought they were, okay? There's this energy of, I put my faith and my stock into something that didn't amount to anything other than this, all right? So, it was almost like, the, it's this feeling of like, sweet nothings. It's like <clears throat> this person fed you nothing but sweet words and and sweet lies and sweet nothings, literally sweet nothings. Like they just kept feeding you like thoughts of um and and dreams, empty dreams of like a future that you guys were going to build together, but it never amounted to anything and you kept getting this energy of a heartbreak and you were just like I'm done you know and I think you made the right decision I totally think that you do because this card right here <clears throat> when it comes out next to this one it's just going to keep leading to heartbreak over and over again you know the devil is about um temptations and this person could have been extremely maybe attractive and um, very charming and that's why there was this energy of I uh, I have I'm having trouble letting go you know it's like it was almost like you were boomeranged right back to them um, it's a very charming energy and very hard to disconnect from devil energy in regards to like a person um, because they can be very charming absolutely um, you know, but the devil is also about addictions and chains and chaining yourself to, um, chaining yourself, imprisoning yourself and chaining yourself to things. So it's like, almost like it, this was an obsessive type energy. It was like, almost like it feels like you were almost to the point of like where you were obsessed with this person and they were very much obsessed with you and so it was this very strong obsession with each other and it just kept bleeding to this and so you know it's it's almost like you know they're it's like wanting to break those chains and just free yourself Because the devil not only represents the chains that bind us, but also the way out. Because the devil never, um, the devil freely enslaves people. He doesn't keep people as slaves. People usually go to the devil as a slave themselves. If you look, it's not in this card, but in most devil cards, the devil is holding, he's not even holding onto the chains. The chains are very loose on, on the people on the male and the female and it's just like they're chained by like their tail or something and the devil doesn't hold the chains the chains are very loose on his chair so it's like he's saying you're free to go whenever you want you know these chains are your choice you chose to be my slave and so that's the energy so just as quickly as you get in with the devil you could also get out and I feel like you've already made that choice Libra so all right, let's move on to your career section. You know what? Maybe we should pull, it was 19, 19 on my phone. Maybe we should pull one more card. I hate to leave it on the heartbreak card. So let's pull one more, okay? Can we get one more card for Libra, please? Spirit, guys, I do not want to leave it on the fucking heartbreak. Can we get something good? <laughs> let's not leave it on heartbreak, please. All right, King of Cups. So that's pretty good. The King of Cups represents um, being open. Generally, it's 
Okay, so it represents having an open heart. It represents enlightenment. You know, we got, look, all of this energy. It's um, enlightened, crown chakra, lit up. Um, generally, the King of Cups represents um, emotional availability, okay? So, you know, there's... I'm just trying to figure out if this is your energy or your person's. And they're not really giving me much, so I'm trying to listen. I don't know. It Honestly, it doesn't feel like your energy. It feels like your person's. And I know you don't have anyone right now, right? Um, for you singles. Oh, my God. I'm sorry, I just got distracted because on the bottom of the deck is the deck is flipped upside down. It's like this. And look what's on the bottom of the deck is the two of cups. <laughs> so I was trying to decide if it was your energy or your person's energy. And I was about to say, I know right now you single Libras don't have anyone. And especially since you took a really great fall and you, you know, you went through this energy of letting go and like a bad breakup and all of that stuff but you have someone definitely coming in i was doubting it for a second and but you know because i i was like i don't know if it's your energy your person's i think this is your person's the king of cups someone else coming in a divine masculine energy and again it's not about it's not about gender it's not about sex the sex it's about the energy so i say divine masculine it's just someone who's you know tends to steer more with their masculine side and the next card you got on the bottom of the deck waiting right there was the two of cups energy right there you know what but it feels like though look we got the hangman the hanged man so it feels like it's not going to come in right away for you libra there's going to be a little bit of a wait and a pause and I feel like that's a good thing because I'm not quite sure that you're ready after all this heartbreak that you went through. I feel like you want to take your time and be single for a little while. And that's quite all right. That's what I've been doing. <laughs> okay. Excuse me. Oh, I cannot stop burping. I had the hiccups earlier. He just smeared the shit out of my lipstick. I did. It's okay. Anyways, I earlier I had the hiccups and I wasn't sure if I was going to be able to do this reading because I was hiccuping all over the place. All right, we are going to go on to your career section. I think I'm going to use the dragon deck because I haven't really used it very much and I haven't connected with it. So I want to see if the deck likes me. <laughs> I want to connect to the energy of it. That way maybe I can use it more often. All right, guys, we're doing Libra's career portion. Career portion for Libra, please. What do we got? Oh, God. This deck, you cray. Let me see what time it is. Okay. 2322. 20. I can't talk. 2323. Swear to God. All right. What's, what's on? What's going on? Libra career, please. Is that fucking card upside down? No. Okay. I was like, I don't do reversals really, so. Okay, what do we got for Libra? Career, please. These, I don't know what, these cards smell funny. Almost like ink or something. I don't know, weird. All right. We got the chariot. What are you guys fighting over right now, huh? Seven of Swords. Jeez. See, I said fighting before before I knew. I said, what are you fighting? What are you guys fighting over? It's a lot of turmoil in regards to your career. <laughs> a lot of fighting. Fighting something. We got the Chariot, Seven of Swords. Not being honest with yourself about your career or something. I don't know. There's this energy of turmoil and fighting something off. Ooh, you got ten of cups though, so let's see. 
So I think you just need to make a decision on what you want to do. Oh, that card flew out. Hold on. One second. Okay, I had two cards fall on the ground. Or one, I'm sorry. You got Ace. You got Ace of Cups. And you got Strength again. You got Strength again. Is my hair looking crazy when I... I don't know. I don't care. Excuse me. You have, you have Leo energy again. It's Strength. So... Oh, I just ruined that card. <sighs> Great. There has been some definite financial financial issues going on Libra I see them and the seven of swords so okay here's the energy someone feels like someone wasn't honest with you about something in regards to your finances career I don't know I don't know how that's gonna resonate but seven of swords is there's some kind of deception there's fighting the chariot is like fighting off um two opposing energies so I feel like you were um having an inner battle with yourself in regards to your career we have five of pentacles which represents some kind of um financial setbacks all right but you got strength cards so you've definitely been pulling all the punches and oh these cards I'm not sure if I like these they're sliding all over the place there's this energy of you definitely pulling yourself together from pulling yourself up literally from your boots bootstraps boot strings whatever you want to say it however you want to say it and putting putting every every ounce of yourself into making ends meet so you know you are very resourceful okay You've been doing a lot of thinking, trying to figure out what it is that you want to do. That's what it is. Okay. I see there is um, a, a little spark of an idea and you do got the 10 of cups. So I feel like it is going to work out if you go for it, Libra. I think you're just afraid. There's energy of fear. Not really fear. I guess just uncertainty of if it's the right path. You've been doing a lot of meditating and thinking about it. I see it. Okay, here. See, there it is again. So we got Page of Swords. So um, a little bit of overthinking. There's a very aggressive energy though. Um, I don't know. I keep getting this energy of aggression surrounding you. I feel like someone is maybe like they're trying to feels like someone's trying to convince you to do something that you don't want to do in regards to your career. And I think you just need to trust your gut on, on this, Libra. There's definitely some good ideas that you have, but I feel like people are trying to make you feel like they're not good ideas because um, they're just trying to make you doubt yourself. That's what it is. Let's get two more cards, please. That one flips. We take it. Okay. All right. It's going to take a lot of thinking. You're probably going to have to go within a little bit more and do some more meditating. I do see whatever idea that you have coming up, whatever you've been mulling about in your head, I feel like if you follow it, it's going to go really well. Okay. I see Ace of Cups, which is you being extremely passionate about it. Whatever it is, it's something that you really love. And that is what's going to spark that fire, which is going to bring in this Ten of Cups. Okay, it's going to bring in, it's going to bring in, um, it's going to bring in some good things. I don't see any like drastic change as far as like financial wise, but 
if you can put aside everyone else's fucking opinions about what they think you should be doing, it's going to bring you joy. And for me, honestly, I think, and I think honestly for you, Libra, I think that's enough. You know, the abundance might come later. What's important right now is being happy with what you do. Okay, I hope that makes sense. We have temperance. So this is the, you know, it's patience, but it's also being able to alchemize um, things that you might feel. I mean, we got two cards of like alchemy, okay? Being able to take um, the light, the dark, whatever you feel is not, you know, whatever, the, the good, the bad, um, you know, and I say it like that because it's all experience. It's nothing is actually good. Nothing is actually bad. It is all just perspective and experience so if you label something bad it's going to be bad if you label something good it's going to be good right okay but you know the part of you inside of you the part of you that is that just observes is going this is neither good or bad it's just this experience that we're experiencing so let's just experience it and move on right so you have this energy of being able to alchemize anything that you might your or what that little voice inside your head the one you know the one that drives you crazy Libra that said this is bad this is so this this is that you have the ability to alchemize that by neutralizing it by just observing it okay and that's what you need to do because this energy right here we got seven of swords we got page of swords people gossiping about you people trying to fill your head with bullshit and say that you shouldn't be doing this you shouldn't be doing this whatever it is that you're doing you shouldn't be doing that you should be more responsible you should be more blah 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 about your career and you know what fuck them because they don't know what's best for you and your finances and your most importantly not what's going to lie in your pockets that you need to know what's important to your soul so who cares if it doesn't necessarily meet the standards of what they think you should be doing financially because if it doesn't ignite your soul, it's not going to make you happy. And what you are craving right now, Libra, is this, the Ten of Cups. You want utter fulfillment. You've already left enough behind. Look, Six of Cups, energy of letting go, right? Letting go, judgment, learning from your past mistakes. And letting them go because you already know what it is that you want, okay? You had this beautiful, brilliant idea that you're super passionate about, okay? So what show, this what Asia Cups is showing me. You thought about it a lot. You know, the hermit. You know, you've used all of your inner strength to try to fight all of these naysayers off. And it's because no matter what you did, you know, it didn't matter you were unhappy and you still didn't have the finances. Look, you had five pence. So either way, you were still, not only were you unhappy, but you were also broken unhappy. So you're like, fuck this. I might as well do something that I want to do, something that I like, which is going to ignite my soul and going to give me the Ten of Cups. And eventually the universe is going to um, reward you for that. And you're going to, it was just three, 33, 33 on my camera. The universe is going to reward you for that and your abundance will come in in different forms, okay? Let me pull um, two more cards for you to sum up the energy for your career and then we're done. I want, excuse me, I want to pull from the Light Seers deck, okay? Nine of Pentacles. So yes, it's time to go forward with that idea. Follow it. See, there's pentacles coming out. Knight of Pentacles is the little tiny stirring of an idea. But it's pentacles. So it's it's coming out. And it's, it's going to go well. It's going to go well. Hold on. Let's get one more card for Libra to sum up their career, please. What can you tell Libra to sum up their reading for their career, please? What can you tell me for Libra? What do they need to know to sum up their beautiful reading, please, Spirit? Oh my God, there it is. Okay, we got Knight of Pentacles. So there's this little, this little tiny spark of an idea 
not quite sure money starts coming in just a little bit and then you got bam the six of wands which is ultimate success public recognition fame fortune people knowing your name libra right there there it is so that little tiny idea that starts out as just a tiny spark of passion is going to blow up into something fucking phenomenal. Don't you let them motherfuckers try to tell you who the hell you are and what's best for you because you know it in the, the deep crevices of your soul what you want to do. Follow it. It's going to bring you lots of, I mean, look at success. It's public that's the fame card. I mean, she's literally, she's famous. She's a rock star. Look at that. Everybody knows her name. Follow it, Libra. Follow it, Libra. I love you. All right, that's all we got. This reading has been deliciously long, um, but so many good things for you, Libra. I'm so proud of you. It was just 555, 3555. So there's your confirmation, Libra. I love you guys. If you want to purchase a reading, um, my prices are always in the description box below. I'm going to start, I'm going to, I'm also going to, I'm going to make it easier for you guys to get readings for me. I'm going to put all of my readings too on my Etsy site so that you guys can just purchase them like that. It'll be a lot easier. That way you don't have to message me on, on Instagram. And then I, I could send you the invoice and blah, blah, blah. It, it'll just be simple. It'll go through Etsy and it'll be very quick. Um, for those of you that wanted to purchase my Lemurian love deck, it is half off for now. It is, let's see, it was, I think 60 something and now it's 30 something with shipping. It's, I don't know, almost, it's like 30, 40, almost 40 bucks, something like that. 40 bucks with shipping, but drastic from 60 to 40. So that's only for, uh, um, a few more days because it's only till the end of October. So if you want to take advantage of that, take advantage of it now because it's going to go back up. Um, it's going to go back up, you know, the beginning of November, it's done. November 1st, sales over. <laughs> it's going to go back up. All right. That's all I got. I love you guys. Thank you, Libra. Your energy is beautiful. Bye.